Did you catch anything? No. That's it. Yeah? I have left some blood wolves. Oh, wonderful, bro. Hello, fishing buddies. The last time we were at West Bexington, on the 23rd of January 2022, a fishing buddy kind of left his overstock of lugworms at the beach. I already have my pre-baited hook lengths for my usual couple of hours fishing sessions for that day. So I just took the worms home and preserved them. Now there's a lot of ways of preserving them when you do a quick search on the web. Let me show you how I do it. There's only one ingredient that I use to preserve lugworms, and that is salt. Just common salt that you can purchase off any supermarket. You will want to practically cover the worms with this stuff. This just extracts the excess fluids from the worms. Leave it for 15 minutes. Now for the next step, shake off the excess salt from each worm. You can tell the salt did its job from the wet marks on the newspaper underneath the salt mound. Once you've shook most of the excess salt, time to saturate them again with salt. Leave it again for 15 minutes. Now we're ready to pack the worms. So shake off the excess salt again. Here I'm using a lid from an old takeaway container and this lid will be chucked away once we're done with it. As you can see, the worms are still supple and depending on how much worms you have left over, you may want to repeat the salting process again. Just be careful because if you dry them out too much, they will become leathery and will be difficult if not impossible to use. I'm using an old newspaper. Make sure that the newspaper is dry as it will need to absorb excess fluids from the worms. I'm rolling each of the worms individually. Have I mentioned the newspaper will absorb any excess fluid that's left in the worms? We can get rid of the gloves and the lid. Next, I put the newspaper rolls in plastic so the moisture will be kept inside and not leak out to the other stuff in the freezer. And the most important step? Make sure you get the wife's permission to use the freezer. Good thing the bottom of the freezer is designated for my fishing baits. There we have it. 
If you found this video informative, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for future fishing stuff related tips and reviews. And if you would like to see how and when I use these worms, make sure to watch the next fishing sessions video that's coming soon. Thanks for watching and happy fishing.